I'm going to demonstrate to you first of all how to fit the battery. Turn it upside down, undo the lock, slide the battery out. To put it in is the reverse. You need to make sure that the arrows here and here line up and slide the lock into place. Then you turn the machine over. We've got the probe here. The probe has a red mark on here which lines up exactly with the red mark on the port. So I'm going to plug that in and it clicks into place. To turn the machine on, press and hold the on button for a second. The green light will come on here and the machine will go through a boot process where it checks everything. We're not looking to see any error messages up here. Now the machine is ready to go. Now in practice when you come to use this, you need to ask your patient a few questions. If they're a lady, have they been hysterectomized? If they have been hysterectomized, you would scan the person as a man. You change the gender of the machine by the up arrow here, and I can change this to a child, a lady, or a man up here. I'm going to leave it set for a lady. Okay, so now we're ready to do the scan. The probe itself has got a picture of a smiley face and feet. Now the way this probe is used on the patient, and you probably need to show on here, the probe would be applied halfway between the belly button and the pubic bone, face to the patient's face, feet to the patient's feet. Plenty of gel on here, and this is where I move to our phantom bladder to actually give you a demonstration. So this is a pretend patient. Inside here, there's a balloon of a known volume, and I'm going to scan this container. So I place on there. I'm going to pre-scan first of all. Now you can either press the button here, or you can press the smiley face on the probe. So now we can see the patient and the patient's bladder. In this case, it's a nice round sphere, which in reality will not be what you're seeing on a patient. However, for the purpose of demonstration, what you're looking to do is move the probe around on the patient. As you see, when I move it, the image changes. I'm looking to make the bladder, and your experience as a nurse will help you find where the bladder is, I'm looking to make that image as large as possible and bisect it with the red line. When I've done that, you need to ask the patient to remain still, and you need to remain still for the duration of the scan process. You initiate that by either pressing the button here or the button here. It takes 12 pictures, takes about two to three seconds, and you need to remain still, and the patient needs to remain still for the duration. When you've done that, you get a picture here showing crosshairs and an image of the bladder. What we're looking to see is the crosshairs through the middle of the bladder, and we get a volume of 155 mils down the bottom. Now, in, in the real world, you need to ask a question, well, have I done a good scan? And the criteria for that are, are the crosshairs in the middle, as close as you can make it, and then you want to look at the 12 pictures that the machine's taken. By pressing the up arrow here, I can look at pictures 7 to 12. And I'm looking to see the red outline around the bladder in each image, or as many of the images as I can. If the patient moves during the process of scan, then you'll find that the red perimeter line may move away. And you have to make a decision, are these images accurate or do I need to do the scan again? Press the up arrow again and you can look at images one to seven, one to six, beg your pardon. So I've got 12 good images, so I can rely on that volume there of 155 mils. When I've done that, 
I can press the print button here and produce a printed paper. If you're not happy with the image, if you're not happy with the volume that you've got, and you want to do it again, press the right arrow and we're ready to start again. Pre-scan, move around, find the best place, start the process again. So you need to hold it still until it's counted to 12. After that, the patient can move and you can move. 157 mils this time, it's only two mils different from before, and that's because I've moved the probe. Simple as that. Okay?